welcome to TPTN Arts Center. This is your two minute warning. Hello everyone, I'm James Cool. And I'm Dave Davies. Tonight's two minute warning is the first of eight in our Showdown Bracket series. So let's get right to it. That's right, James. First bracket uh, category is comedy. Everyone loves comedy, it's funny. But it's no laughing matter when it comes to the brackets. Who's in the brackets for this one? Uh, we got an incredible lineup starting with Don't Dress for Dinner, Every Christmas Story Ever Told and Then Some, The Female Version of The Odd Couple, and The Lady with All the Answers. Okay, now these are some tough choices right out of the gate for, uh, for our TPT audiences. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this batch you have uh, two of the top five all-time grossing shows in TPT history. You got the female version of The Odd Couple, which is sitting in number one, and Don't Dress for Dinner sitting in spot number four, plus Every Christmas Story Ever Told is sitting in spot number six. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the audiences here love the comedies. It's going to be a tough choice all the way around. That's Big true, bets. but now you failed to mention the lady with all the answers, and that is a Member's Choice Award winner, so I think that's going to give some real competition to this category. You know, plus, uh, you know, the big Jay Glander on that brought home a Wild Award. Julia for, uh, Glander, you know, Color Me in Love. Met her once, five minutes later, I'm sent. But uh, let's not deny the power of Don't Dress for Dinner. That's true. A Wild Award winner for actress Laurel mm -hmm. Hofano. In the, in the original production. Well, that, that brings up a good point, James. You know, Don't Dress for Dinner is actually the only production that Tipping Point has done twice. It was their first show, and we just did it again in this last season. So. You know, but then you have Every Christmas Story Ever Told. That is the longest-running show in Tipping Point history. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it sold a bunch. That's true. That's a very good point. Okay, so who are you going to go with here, Dave? Uh, well, I think uh, the lady with all the answers might be a good answer for that, but I'm going to go with Don't Dress for Dinner. I'm partial to it. I'm in it, so I'm picking it for selfish reasons. Well, that's a pretty solid choice. I, I do think that Don't Dress for Dinner is going to make a really solid showing here, but uh, in the end, I think those fierce ladies in the female version of The Odd Couple are going to take the bracket. Not only going to take the bracket, but they're going to beat whoever's coming out of the musical section and uh, go all the way into the final four. I it's a solid belief. I could see it playing out that way. Well, if the uh, four ladies do win and they don't dress for dinner, I think we both win. So that's going to do it for us. I'm Dave Davies. And I'm James Cool. And join us next time when uh, we take a look at the musical bracket for our Showdown series. This has been your two-minute warning. So now we just made a turn. I think so. We're talking about stuff. We're not really talking about things at all. No, no, that's <laughs> Fake laughing.